everyone. Today we'll learn how to arrange decimals into ascending and descending order. So what is ascending order? Ascending order means increasing order that is small to big. So moving from small to big is an ascending order. And descending order means decreasing order. That means moving from big to small. So this is decreasing or descending order. Now we have the decimal numbers here. Arrange them in ascending and descending order. First of all, before starting ascending descending order, you need to check the decimal places that these decimals are like decimals or unlike decimals. If you do not know what are like and unlike decimals, I'll share a link in the description where you can learn what are like and unlike decimals. So I'll tell you here, like decimals in which the decimal places are same and unlike where the decimal places are not same. Now what are decimal places? You have to watch the other videos. I have shared link in the description. Just go and watch them and then come here again. So how will the... Now this decimal 96.87, this has two decimal places. This has one decimal place, that is two. This has one, two, three decimal places. It has two decimal places. So these are unlike decimals because, because the decimal places are different. Now let's make them like decimals. How we can make? We have to add zeros to make them like decimals. How many zeros we need to add? Just check. This is two decimal places, one, three decimal places, two decimal places. The maximum number of decimal places are three. So we'll make all the decimal places three. So here we already have two decimal places. We'll add one zero, it will make three. Here we have already one. So we'll add two zeros. Here we'll add one zero. So let's make like decimals. We have 96.870. I have added one zero here, two zeros here. And one zero here. And now you can see these are three decimal places, three decimal places, three decimal places, and three. Now this is a like decimal. After making the given question in the like decimal, let's start comparing. For comparing, you have to check the whole part. So let's see 96, 96, 167, 96. We are writing first ascending order, means we have to write the smallest first. So let's see which is the smallest. A 167 is greater, so let's ignore that. Let's see 96, 96 and 96. We have three whole numbers which are exactly same. Now we'll move to the 10th place for the comparison. Here it is 8, here it is 2 and here it is 0. So the 10th place, which decimal number has the smallest? Not 8, not 2, it's 96.020. So this is the smallest one, write down one here. So we'll be writing this first in the ascending order. Okay, moving to the second. Now these two are the smallest, uh, 870 and this is 200. So this is 8, this is 2, which is smallest? This one, so we'll be writing 2 here. Now 8, obviously this will be the third one. And 167.423 will come at the fourth position. So let's write down the ascending order, smallest to largest. So ascending order is, first we'll write 96.020, second is 96.200, third is 96.870, and fourth is 167.423. So this we have arranged small to big. Now descending order. We are not going to do from here. Let's do it from here directly. Descending is just reversing the ascending order. So we'll be writing 167.423 first, then moving this, this decimal number. So the descending order will be 167.423, 96.870, 96.200, 96.020. If we have written one, it's very easy to write the other order. Okay, so this is very easy. Let's do one more question. We have to arrange in descending and ascending order of this. So it's up to you. You want to write ascending order first or descending order first. I'll be doing descending order here first so that you should know how to compare for the descending order as well. And we'll reverse for the ascending order. So before that, let's check the decimal places. This is like or unlike decimal. 
two digits, three decimal places, two, three, two. They are different. So it's unlike, let's make it like decimal. Let's see, two, three, two, three, two. So three is the maximum number of decimal places here. Write down zero. So here there is already two. I need to add one zero here, one zero here, and one zero here. Let's add it. I have the de like decimals now. I have added one zero here, one zero here, and one zero here. Now you can check all the decimal places are equal. Now I'll be writing first descending order. For that, even though you are writing ascending or descending, we'll be comparing the whole part first. Zero, 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 and zero. And there's one seven here. Obviously, this one will be the greatest one. We are going from big to small first now. So 7.007 .007 will take the first position because we can see the whole part is seven here. So writing it the first position because we will be writing descending order first. Okay, let's see now the whole parts are same. Now we'll compare the 10th place of the zeros. So let's compare the 10th. This is seven. This is seven. Now we have zero, zero and seven, seven. So after 10th place, we have seven here. Uh, let's check the 100th place. This is zero. This is one. So which is greater? One. So between these two, this is will go to the second position because we are writing from big to small. We are writing the biggest one first. So here we chose here the 7.007. .007. Why? Because the whole part is greater. All four half zeros in the whole part. We started comparing the 10th place. This is 0, this is 0, 7 and 7. So we'll be comparing 7 and 7. So after that, they have the same 10th place moving to the 100th place, 0. And one goes to the second position. So this will be the third position definitely. Now comparing these two. Tenth place is same. Let's see the hundredth place. This is seven. This is zero. So this is the greatest one. So four will go to this place. Because seven and zero, seven is greatest. And this will take the fifth position. So this is order is descending order, not the ascending order. So let's write the descending order. That is 7.007. Then we'll write 0 0.710, 0 0.700, 0 0.070, and 0 0.007. Now you can check. This is from big to small. Big Y because 7 is the whole number. So 7 and others have the zeros. And in second, you can see this is 10th place. 10th place is 7. And 100th place here is 1. Here is 0. So this is the greatest. And then you can see the 10th place is 0. So this is the smallest one. Okay, writing the descending order, we'll reversing the order. So we'll write this one first. That is 0 0.007. And then we'll write 0 0.070. 0 0.700. 0 .700, and then moving 0 0.710. And then 7.007. So we have written descending and ascending order. So it's very easy. What you just need to do is make the decimal numbers like decimals. If they are not, if they're already, then you need not to do this step. After that, start comparing the whole part first. Even you're doing ascending or descending order. After comparing the whole part, move to the 10th place. If you are doing descending order, it should be the greatest one first. If it's the ascending order, smallest one first. Start writing the numbering. Compare the 10th place and the 100th place. And you will be able to write ascending, descending order easily. Okay. It's your time to do some workout. This is a yes, no question. The question is, is 3.95, 3.7 and 3.56 in descending order? Descending means big to small. Is this big to small? You have to, if it's correct, write down yes in the comment section. If it's wrong, write down no in the comment section. Moreover, you can check here, the whole part is same. So you have to compare the 10th place. So to compare the 10th place, write down yes or no in the comment section. I'll check later and we'll see how many of you have done it correct. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.